Donald Trump's legal team made a request to the judge, and it was rejected. And immediately following that, Trump had some very interesting comments about Joe Biden and what he's going to do when he wins the election. You don't want to miss this. Welcome back to the channel, guys. First Coach's Archives video here without a hat because it's Sunday morning and I can't go to church with hat hair. Let's get into it. We all know about all of the indictments against Donald Trump and the arraignment that he just went through. It's hard to keep all that in our heads, but what just happened with the Trump legal team as they made a request to the judge for an extension, and we all know that uh, Donna Chutkin is an activist Obama judge, and she rejected it immediately. Let's get into it and see the details. Judge Tanya Shutkin rejected a request made by Donald Trump's legal team to extend the deadline for the former president to respond to a request for a protective order that could limit what Trump and his legal team can share publicly about the criminal case against him in Washington. Trump's legal team actually requested the extension go from Monday, August 7th to Thursday, August 10th, and it was denied. And of course, the reason they asked for that extension was to more adequately prepare for a very powerful response. But Chutkin said that the Trump team needed to abide by the 5 o'clock p.m. deadline on Monday. The DOJ and prosecution weighed in on this, saying that the protective order was particularly important in this case, as Trump had posted on social media about people associated with legal matters pending against him. And in preparation for all of this, Donald Trump posted on social media, if you go after me, I'm coming after you. A Trump spokesperson commented on the post in a statement shared by August 5th that read, the truth post cited is the definition of political speech and was in response to the rhino China loving dishonest special interest groups and super PACs like the one funded by Koch brothers and the club for no growth. Now, you know, the latest charges brought forth against president Trump, the four basic tenets of the last indictment. Conspiracy to defraud the U.S., conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction of an attempt to obstruct an official proceeding, and conspiracy against rights. And as you are all aware, there's not really any criminality associated with those indictments, so Trump pleaded not guilty. But let's look at Barack Obama's appointed judge, Chutkin. She has previous history with Trump and issued a ruling against him in November of 2021 when the former president lost a bid to withhold documents from the House Select Committee that investigated the causes of January 6 and the incidents that took place. Many of you will remember when she ruled against President Trump when he sued um, Representative Benny Thompson. That's the case when Trump was saying that the panel didn't have the right to look at the executive documents in the National Archives because they were covered by executive privilege and the activist judge rejected it. And again, Chutkin was nominated to the bench by former President Barack Obama and has overseen cases involving the rioters on January the 6th. Biased much? President Trump made a recent stop in Alabama, and here is what he said about what he's going to do, the very first thing that he's going to do when he retakes office. Saying, from the first day in office, I will appoint a special prosecutor to study each and every of the many claims being brought forth by Congress concerning all of the crooked acts, including bribes from China and many other foreign countries that go into the coffers of the Biden crime family. It is a crime family. He is a corrupt, corrupt person. The Biden crime family was taking in money from China, Ukraine, Russia, and so many more. And now, every time more Biden corruption is exposed, his henchmen indict because they want to knock out the bad publicity. It's called a cover-up, and what they do is illegal and horrible. Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxist, and communist, and fascist indict me, I consider it a truly great badge of honor. Let me just break in here real quick and say I love that quote. It reminds me of being commanded in the Bible. Followers of Jesus are, are commanded to rejoice in our suffering, and that is what the president is doing. I love it. He finished his quote saying, Biden and his protectors know he cannot win this race in any other way. So they are trying election interference. The reason this is happening is simple. Joe Biden is the most incompetent and corrupt president in United States history. Going to continue to keep you guys up to speed on all of the major things that I see going on in the world. I love it when you guys send me emails and messages about certain things that are happening in the media and saying, Coach, can you cover this? Our team is only so big and your help there is awesome. So I thank you for that. Shoot it my way and I'd love to look at it. Engage with us in the comments, like the video, and most importantly, go and watch our other videos. I pray that the good Lord rains down blessings on you and your family and most importantly, draws you nearer to him, all that in Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen.